Hi everybody, Jason Webster here. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Bex PFR Report. Today we are doing a part two series dealing with pintrow compaction with center fill planters. Last time in our part one series, we were talking about tracks that went on uh, center fill planters. Today, we're focusing on a different piece of technology, a different piece of equipment called track till. Now we've looked at track till uh, in our PFR partner program back in 2014 and saw some nice yield response from it. But what this is, this is a series of blades that will fit behind the lift tires, the center tires of the planter. So again, with, with center fill planters, we can have some weight distribution problems, all that weight of the seed that the planter's got to hold, and that can give us some pintro compaction going through the field. So we've got a center fill planter, and behind the lift tires of the center fill planter, we've got our track till. And this is a series of three blades that are going to spin behind the, the planter as she rolls through the field and again right behind these lift tires and these lift tires that's where all the weight distribution happens from the, the weight of the, the planter itself the seat up in the hoppers comes down it's going to leave that footprint right between the rows that's where track till comes in she's going to turn right behind the lift tires and remove that footprint we're going to lift and fracture that soil to try to remove that footprint that the center fill planter um, uh, gave us. So again, to try to remove some of that potential pintrow compaction that's caused us some, some uh, issues in regard to weight distribution. This track till system is manufactured and distributed by Yetter Equipment Company and a, a system of, of this track till is going to run just a little under $20,000. Again, you're going to get the four units out in the field to go behind the four lift tires of your center fill planter and going to run just a little bit under $20,000 depending on make and model of the planter. But this looks like a really nice, viable way to help remove some issues that we've had or seen with pintrow compaction. We started testing the track till back in 2014 and we saw some um, some pretty good results the first year we looked at it. We, we worked in conjunction with Pistorius Farms, would have been in southern Illinois. They were fortunate enough to put a unit on, a demo unit on um, of this track till. And we were seeing in, in over three locations, three farm locations, an average of about a 5.4 bushel yield increase by having the track till on the planter. But that was just one year in, in three locations. This year, Schaefer Farms, uh, Dennis and David Schaefer from Chabance, Illinois, um, have this track till unit on their John Deere planter, their John Deere center fill planter, and they've got some nice PFR testing lined up for us where they're evaluating the track till out in the field, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some more yield results. In the meantime, stay tuned. We'll bring you all the results through Beck's Practical Farm Research. This has been Jason Webster, Beck's Cyber Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Thank you so much for watching.